guys, Healthy Gabriella here again. If you're not subscribed to me, you should definitely follow me. So today we're going to talk about spinach. I'm going to give you three different ways of incorporating spinach in your diet. And just a disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just using things that have worked for me, so hopefully it can work for you as well. So spinach is probably not the most tasty thing you could ever think of. We're not all Popeye who loves spinach. So we're going to do today a smoothie. That's with pineapple, spinach, and frozen berries. So either whichever type of berries you're into. And then we're gonna do some eggs that has tomatoes, spinach, eggs, of course. And then we're gonna use coconut oil. And we're gonna do a tropical themed salad because summer's almost here. So we're gonna do a couple of fruits, dry raisins, walnuts, blue cheese, but on the side, because I don't like blue cheese. And then we have red onions. So the trick is, because red onion's pretty strong, just to squeeze a little bit of lime into it. And so the other cool thing about this salad is that we're gonna make our own dressing today so you don't have to buy anything from the store anymore. So it's not like preservatives or any of that stuff into it. So what's cool with it, it's going to be with raspberries, mangoes, avocado oil and red wine vinegar all right guys so we're gonna start with the smoothie so we're gonna start with spinach and then pineapple so we usually buy a lot of fruit and then sometimes we don't use it all at that same time so we just freeze them so just keeping it frozen makes it last longer so these are the frozen berries you could add chia seeds or any type of seeds you like. I don't really like it in my smoothies. I prefer it in my oatmeal. So now we're just going to blend this. And then this is what it looks like. You can't even taste the spinach. Now we're gonna do the egg. So now I just put a little bit of coconut oil. You don't wanna add too much. So now we're just gonna add the tomatoes. Make sure they're, they look thick. And then you just wanna kinda keep it on a medium high. Okay, so now that um, the tomatoes are basically cooked, and now the spinach. And now we're just stirring it. So depending how well done you like your eggs, it depends how much you cook them for. So I like my eggs a little bit runny, so I usually just maybe cook it for like six minutes or so. So the eggs are done now, and I'm just gonna place it here. So meanwhile, um, the eggs were cooking. I toasted a bagel and put some cream cheese in it. And I have a banana and blueberries, well, blackberries and strawberries, since I'm gonna work out later, so. And this is the finished product. <laughs> Okay guys, so now for the tropical salad I was talking about earlier. So usually when people think of salads, do you really want to eat your salad? No. Like, come on guys. <laughs> like really, you wanna eat this? <laughs> but like I know it's hard, like all jokes aside, it's hard to eat a salad. I don't even like salads. It takes me a while to eat a salad. So the cool thing about the salad is gonna be our dressing that I said that we were gonna make. So um, let's start with it. So you're gonna use like one fourth of a cup of um, avocado oil. 
just like that. And then I'll just leave a little bit down here. And then we have the red wine vinegar. It's like probably like two tablespoons. Yeah, like two tablespoons. And now we're gonna mix this up. Okay, that's fine. And now for the good stuff. So we're gonna add some raspberries, mangoes, which are my favorite fruit in the entire world. And then um, we're gonna add a little bit of honey. And if you don't wanna add too much honey because it's too sweet for you, then don't add honey. But let's make it sweet. And what I like about this honey is it's from Colombia, where my parents are from and I'm basically Colombian, but um, it's like very organic. Um, they made like the honey from pure um, bees, so which is really cool. So now we're gonna blend this up. Oh, actually, I almost forgot the best part. You gotta mix this. Make sure it's always stuck. So now you're just gonna add a little bit of the dressing so like probably half of it you want to leave this in there. there and then we're gonna blend it now and then now we're just gonna in here so now it comes out like very thick now we just whisk this back in here look how pretty it looks so now we're gonna put this in here actually let me get a funnel make any messes So now that we have the dressing, it's gonna come out like this. So what we can add to make this um, salad fun, we're gonna add onions. So as I said before, remember to put some lime juice in it so it's not too strong. So we can just add a little bit. A little bit of that. And then strawberries, which is really tasty. And it's very fruity. And then we can add some um, cuties, just a few of them. And then you can add blue cheese or any type of cheese you like. I don't like blue cheese. I don't really like cheese. So if you guys have any cheeses that I could try that I might like, let me know. But you can definitely add that if you are into cheese. And then we have uh, walnuts. So you can just add a few. And it is a good source of um, protein. And it has omega-3 in it. And then we have cranberries. And then, yeah. So now, that that's done. We're gonna just toss it a little bit. And then now for like the protein, um, for the salad, some protein. We have some salmon. So now for the, I'm gonna add. Added a little too much. So now we're just gonna add the dressing. Okay. 
And there you have it, your own dressing. What I like about this dressing, the recipe for this, it's pretty easy, it's super simple. It shouldn't take you more than like 20 minutes. But what I really do enjoy about this recipe is that you know what's in it and you're not adding any preservatives or any of that stuff. Like when you buy store-bought um, dressings. So it's actually a pretty cool thing and it just gets you back in the kitchen to do something and you won't be bored during quarantine. There we have it guys. So we made the dressings so you don't have to buy anymore. And then we made the salad with some fruits and then the protein is salmon. So if you don't like salmon, you could try um, pompano or grouper fish or any type of like chicken or steak. And then now for like the breakfast item we made was like the eggs with tomatoes, spinach and then the fruit and then bagel. A bagel, unless you like something else, then you can use that. But I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you're not following me yet, you should definitely follow me. But I also did want to mention something. Like, I do understand that we're all going through, like, this weird time in our life. Like, never in a million years we would think that we would be going through a, a pandemic. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of hope that everything will eventually go away and our lives can just kind of go not go back as they were before. Um, we'll go into our regular lives better. And just focus on this time, like since you're not really, I'm not sure if you're working from home or you're not working at all. Um, I just, just focus on yourself. Like you can focus on yourself, learn new things about yourself. You can start journaling, painting, or maybe working out. Like you don't have to do like a 30 minute workout or whatnot, but um, just keep hope and also you can start talking to your family more like <laughs> there's no one else to talk to but your family if you're still with them and yeah also um i just want to thank you guys again for watching this video and remember just to keep shining because you are the sun and chef's kiss thank you <laughs>